Hello everybody and um, this is a now the 13th of August 2014. Okay, so what's happening then with the energies then? So I said I'd be looking at the transits with the moon and how it's impacting our heart calling, which is because it's in the sign of Leo, which is representative of the heart and love. So this is really important to us being that, well, we are love, we are all about love, and this is our project in this lifetime, our dedication. So it is vital for us to look at these transits and how they actually impact this heart calling and how we're actually co-creating with it first and foremost. Okay, so we've got a big trine with Venus and the Moon in Pisces at the moment and this is transferring, it's in between stage where it is going to be moving into Aries, which is a sign of action. So there could be something happening today, <coughs> later on today, tomorrow, the next few days, that will really highlight and signify this, um, some sort of form of action regarding love. Okay, and that is very positive, that's very good. So that's good for all of us, the collective, okay, really, when we go back into that Aquarian energy and how that real kind of sense of passion is really connected with the spiritual, to the heart, that can have a wider impact, obviously, on each of us, but also the wider collective. Because anything that is really passionate from the heart will have that impact and vibrates further out, as we know. And the more passionate it is, the more loving it is, the more positive it is, the better that can be for us as individuals and the entire population. So this is brilliant news, actually, at the moment. Now, we did have a really intense time just over the weekend there, okay, we had, and I didn't talk about this aspect of it because I was talking from a point of just pure love, but there have been some things and situations that have come to the fore that have been highlighted on a world level <clears throat> um, during this time, and I'm going to not go into the details of that because I say that I will remain firmly rooted in love, and I think that's important for the entirety, not only myself. So... I feel that the intense energy of Aquarius to um, that Leo and that heart centre is really, really important because what's going on is it highlighted and the events that highlighted also highlight the importance of um, what Aquarius is all about. You can see it in high vibration, you can understand that the most essential and important aspect of all is really that love, that divine love and that connection within to your own divine love, your own union within. There's nothing more important than love, okay? Love is the most important law of the world. I did talk about how we had co-created laws, systems, ideas, ways of life by default and also on purpose. These things would be highly intense and highly brought up during that full moon with Aquarius. That can impact you in either way, depending on which part of the scale you are in terms of your divine union and love within. That's why love is so important. <laughs> right, okay. When you've got that love within, you understand with that Aquarius energy, which is very intense, so intellectual, okay. Aquarius can be the, the most amazing type of leader with that spiritual understanding, okay? And the power and the knowledge and the awareness with the spiritual understanding to know how to innovate and move change because it can understand and look, it can connect and disconnect from um, old ways to change into new ways and that can affect the collective. That's why it's so powerful. But if you're coming from a different aspect and not understanding that and only looking too far outside of yourself, and not really seeing the love within, then that can impact on a different level during that Aquarius full moon because it will bring these things up so intensely. And it did, okay? It either brought up more love for yourself or, <clears throat> okay? That's why it's so important to get into that spiritual aspect. Pisces would, would highlight that, the importance of self-love within and your divine connection because that's what stands as your anchor ahead and that's what nurtures you, that's what nurtures your family. That's what nurtures the entire world, okay? In different ways, okay, different levels. But most importantly, yourself, for yourself, for your family, that love that really is spiritual. It's nothing to do with all the outside bits and pieces. They're just extras, okay? So, um, yeah. So what's always important is how we are leading from the heart. We can actually affect and innovate change 
um, that you really need change can actually happen through being passionate in the heart in the moment and knowing from the heart what feels right and that's when Saturn says tick this makes sense and we move this forward like this so you've got to be seeing it from a place of personal power and that comes through your love and your divine connection to your love union within right so I can't say that enough so that's what Pisces is highlighting in that part that period between Aquarius to Pisces is really highlighting there and it is very very intense between Leo and Aquarius very intense that's why there's this requirement there for that spiritual side to come into things, okay? To really understand that divine love <clears throat> and connect everything all together. Now, when we've got that, we move forward to a real, real positivity with this Aries energy now. The high vibrational aspects of Aries. <clears throat> we've got a bit of a square at the moment and with Mars, which is also linked with Aries, um, with the sign of Leo, with the sun sign, but we do have a very cool um, trine with Mars and the Neptunian sort of vibes with the spirituality. So again, just highlighting how important it is. So over the next few days, this could be highlighting, uh, you know, more and more with different people as well about the importance of love and self-love. So particularly with Aries, when it does go back into the self and the ego, it's important to not get too attached to the ego or too attached to the old way of things and the way that things were. <clears throat> but to keep with that fast-paced Aquarius, the high vibrational aspects of Aquarius being fast-paced and intellectual, again, letting that come through that energy um, in a way where it moves forward in love, that change and movement into the new. Okay? So that grounding is self-love. Cannot say that. So, so important. The grounding of that spiritual self-love being anchored in that heart place will allow for this energy to move through in the best possible ways. Okay. And, um, yes. So I think that's what's on the cards for all of us. More self-love. Mm. Can't get enough of that. Got to keep going with that. And so, um, yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> that is the most important thing in the entire world. It is. It is. I'm dedicated to that. I know that. I believe that. It's one thing that I believe 100%. That's why I do this. That is why um, we dedicate to love. That's why we have the name. We put the initials together. That's why we dedicate to this. It's so important. There are things that will happen in life. That's why we're alive. To shape and to mould and to grow our awareness and understanding. And that affects us as a collective. And that's, that's good. But you've got to have that anchoring in self-love and that faith in that to carry forward. Okay, and um, yeah, and make our, our decisions and our um, actions from there. And that's why Mars will be trining Neptune because there's that spiritual love there. Okay, to take things forward strongly. So, um, yeah, pretty good. So I've got a feeling that it's more um, ethereal and um, in terms of self-worth, self-love, <clears throat> and more of a sense of things and I think that that is one of the most and the best um, aspects of life to really kind of be anchored in is take further forward and um, as I say everything else is superfluous everything else is just an extra but that is really strong now and uh, that's what I'm getting for me internally so I'm sure that that will be something that will be happening collectively and a growing and deepening awareness and understanding of the importance of love.